Were the beans salvaged? Does anybody know? Beans, beans okay? I smell beans burning. They're running over. <clears throat> Good morning. Good to see you here with us today on a nice wintry feeling day. <clears throat> uh, Maxim and Eno are back from the Belarus. Maxim, where are you at? Come out here a minute. I've got a question for you. <laughs> Well, while Maxim was in Belarus, I think he asked a young lady to marry him. Her name is? Elizabeth. 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 And she said? Yes. And has she set a date for your martyrdom yet? What? Has she set a date for your martyrdom yet? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. So keep Maxim and Elizabeth. Let's say it. Elizabeth. 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 And in your prayers, says he. Rose, holy matrimony. Thank you, brother. This Saturday at 4, is that right, 4? <clears throat> the waters of Jordan are going to transform catechumen Joshua into prayer warrior Kikon. So at 4 o'clock next Saturday, stay tuned. So keep them in your prayers this week as well. A lot of things going on. <clears throat> um, church uh, build update. The, uh, if you go to visit the church, please stay out of the, of the dirt. And your little children's feet out of the dirt because that has not been planted yet with grass seed and we have to fill all those little footprints in and big footprints in <clears throat> which you'll see some of the construction guys have been out in the dirt and uh, as we prepared a seed of grass and then the uh, heating cooling contractor was there every day this week and they just about finished all the duct work up in the mezzanine <clears throat> I think maybe by Tuesday we might have power turned on to the nave heating and cooling system, God willing. <clears throat> so keep that in your prayers. The plumber was here uh, Wednesday evening and Thursday and Friday and the toilets and the commodes and the water tank and the hot water heater have all been plumbed in. And we turned the well on, the water is clear, glory to God. And there's water now in the kitchen sink. So if we have water on site, there's water in the bathroom, sinks as well, but we've got the toilet temporarily cut off. Uh, we're still working on hanging doors and the such and staining and trim. <clears throat> so we continue to press forward. Uh, Father Jonah's going to come, I think, this week and put the icon up into the cupola, God willing, depending on the weather. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, we'll push, push forward as, as fast as we can, but also uh, as well as we can, too. So... Uh, keep those things in your prayers uh, as we as we move on. Of course, if you haven't seen the countertop, it's beautiful. You ought to take a trip over there. It's a it's a gray uh, countertop, gray white. I don't know, granite rock, gray with swirls. <clears throat> kind of looks like a chocolate sundae, except in gray. <clears throat> so uh, garbage disposal is installed. Bought a garbage disposal. Uh, uh, we had a. Uh, uh, dishwasher you get donated that's not installed yet but it's, it's close so uh, we're moving right along so thank you for all your prayers and your donations and we'll continue to press on uh, we'll uh, try to schedule uh, Yoka in the next week or two so stay tuned trying to make sure everybody's back to being well as well as they can be and we'll get that scheduled and and celebrate our, our Yoka celebration have I left anything out uh, Matushka Mary has your tax receipts for your year's donations. If uh, check them, if there's a mistake, if they miscalculated adding your beans, just talk to them and they'll work it out. So see Matushka Mary for your tax contribution sheet for your taxes. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> Is that it? In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our part of the world, we usually enter a place through a door. Now that being said, there are all types and sizes of doors. And around here, most of our doors have locks on them. You can only enter if you're welcome. Doors are used for our safety and to keep unwanted animals and extreme temperatures out as well. Doors are also seen as a way in or a weaker part of the fortress walls used for entry. In my years of earthly labor, I've installed all types of doors, residential, commercial, and even large barn doors. 
I've installed switches on doors for security systems and installed magnetic locks on doors to control entry that 1,200 pounds of force could not open. Mankind has certainly developed a way to secure his cave. And we too are installing some big heavy fir wood doors at our new church. Come and see. The Holy Scripture just recently spoke about a door during the Nativity of Christ from the great prophet Ezekiel, he writes, And the Lord said to me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened, and no man shall enter by it, because the Lord God of Israel has entered by it, therefore it shall be shut. The mother of God remains a virgin, the door stayed shut. And then we hear in Matthew this warning for those who tarry and just can't be here in time. But while they went away to buy, the bridegroom came. And they who were ready went in with him to the wedding festivities, and the door was shut. And then these words from our Lord in the gospel reading this morning. I am the door. By me, if anyone shall enter, he shall be saved and should go in and out and find pasture. St. Gregory the Great writes about the wedding door, how the blessing, blessed will rejoice in the recompense. There are all the blessed who are about safe to enjoy that vision of him in whose presence the elements tremble, and they will go in with him in the marriage. At the same time as they rejoice in the nuptials of the bridegroom, they themselves will be the bride for in the bridal chamber chamber of the everlasting kingdom. They are united forever to their God. Thenceforth, that vision can never be snatched from their possession. St. Gregory the Great also instructs us about John 10. He should go in and out and find pasture. He should go in faith. He should go out from faith to vision, from belief to contemplation. He shall find pasture and everlasting refreshment. His sheep shall find pasture because whosoever follows him with a guileless heart is nourished with the food of everlasting freshness. What are the pastures of these sheep but the everlasting joys of an evergreen paradise? The pasture of the elect is the confidence of God in person. When we see him perfectly in our hearts, are innocently satisfied with the food of life. Those who have invaded the traps of temporary pleasures rejoice in those pastures with the fullness of eternity. There are choirs of angels singing hymns, and there are a company of heavenly citizens. And we all know the story of St. Mary of Egypt, and that a force prevented her unrepentant soul from entering the holy temple in Jerusalem. There is certainly life after death for those who heed this warning, having good intentions without actions, uh, worshiping earthly gods that steal our limited precious time away will prevent us all from enjoying that great feast. There is only one way in. So I ask, in the last day, which side of the door will you be found? Glory to thee, O Lord.